The royal family have been urged to involve Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in their current environmental campaigning, in a bid to make their message powerful. An Australian radio host has claimed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have the entire world eating out of their hands, and would be able to attract celebrity attention to the cause. Speaking to the Australian show Sunrise, radio host Bianca Dai said, I have to say, I think Harry needs to be a little more involved in this, Harry and Meghan. We love Prince Charles, we love Prince William, they're great but they are kind of the fuddy-duddy royals. To me, the rock star royals, the ones that have defected, Harry and Meghan. We all see what happens when Harry and Meghan make a bit of a hoo-ha about something, Oprah wants to be a part of it. If you want the world to listen about climate change, you need Oprah to get on board. So I'm sorry but until they wrangle Harry back in for a chat with Meghan, those guys have the power to have the entire world eating out of their hands. For me, it's great and I love that the royals are bringing up climate change, it's something that's taken a backseat during the pandemic, let's go and talk about that again because we need to but bring Harry and Meghan in. Let's make it powerful, the world will listen. Neither Harry nor Meghan are scheduled to join other senior royals at the COP26 summit in Glasgow. However, they made an announcement yesterday via their non-profit organisation Archwell's website that they had pledged to become carbon net zero by 2030. In a statement, Archwell said, Our co-founders, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have a long-standing commitment to the planet, both together and prior to their union, with global projects and partnerships dating back over a decade. It added, while we have actively made choices to offset and balance this carbon footprint, now, with the tools provided by partner organizations, we know that we can all do better. We can be net zero, and this is what we pledge to do. In order to achieve this, the couple will be looking at their collective carbon footprint, including internet use, commutes, and electricity in home offices.